So uh, you're determined. I can't be stopped. I can't allow nothing to stop me. Nothing. Life is fleeting, no time to quit believing. We hold the keys to realizing our dreams. Everybody would laugh. Everybody called me crazy. They were like, a mobile barbershop man, why you don't get the hair cut in a bus? I'm like, nah, y'all not understanding. I'm gonna turn the bus into a barbershop. Test your faith, see what you can shape. Play it safe, you may miss your potential to create. When I was about like 13, 14, I messed my own hair up with a razor blade. That's where it started at. So my father was like, I'm going to buy you a set of clippers because you're not going to keep messing your hair up. So he bought me a set of clippers. I started cutting my old friends. And I used to come to the house all the time. I got good at lining people up with the clippers. From like 14 years old, I've been cutting hair. It was always a fascination to me, but I didn't think that I would become a barber. I moved back to New York in 2011. When I came back to New York City, I came back with like a divine energy of I'm gonna make this happen. I was walking down this block right here one day. I was walking by and I seen him say, yo, Tone, how you gonna open up a barbershop and not let me know? He was like, yo, when you wanna start working? So I started working there. Um, God rest his soul, Tone passed away a month and a half after he opened up the shop. And it was devastating because he was a good guy. He taught me a lot about being a barber. And when he passed away, it hurt me. That's when me and the guy, um, Glenn Felt, that ended up taking over it. Now I'm co-owner of the shop. I got a loan from one of my clients. I'm like, yeah. Man, that was the first time in my life that I could actually say I started to do something. I tell people this, my blood, sweat, and tears has been in this neighborhood right here. So when I built this bus, I built it on the block that I was born and raised on. I did it for a reason because the old people, the young people, and the people my age that have seen me over the years, they know the bad about me and the good. I want to leave a legacy of myself behind where people can say I watched him do that himself. The thing about being a barber, everybody thinks that this is a skill that you're supposed to have and like it's so a bunch of talent, but it's just, it's just skill. So anything that you do in this world, when you put your energy and your time into it and you beat on your craft, you're gonna get skillful at it. Like, no matter what you do, if you draw a line like this a thousand times, that line gonna eventually become straight. People are like, yo, come here, man. Yo, you got a barbershop in here. This is the cops. <laughs> the traffic agents, yeah. sanitation. And they're just like, man, congratulations, man. It's fantastic. It'd be to the point I'd be sitting there like, you know what? I think I might be on a song. I don't know what's in store for me yet. What I do know is that I'm ready.